Hi grade 3! Today you're going to do a reading comprehension just like we've been doing in class many times. First, make sure that you have the two PDFs called Feeling Angry, uh, Feeling Angry Text and Feeling Angry Questions. Once you have the PDFs printed, you will be able to complete the reading comprehension and take a picture of your answers and upload it to your ELA folder. If you are unable to print the PDF, that's fine. You can read the text on your computer and create a Google Doc in your ELA folder to write your answers. Um, just make sure to number your answers so, so that we know which questions um, they belong to. Now, to complete a reading comprehension, you always want to start by reading the title and looking at the questions first. Look for keywords in the questions so you know what to watch for when you read the text. Once you have finished reading all the questions, now it's time to read the text. Now before answering the questions, it's always a good idea to read the text once completely from start to finish. That way you have an idea of what the text is about and then you can begin answering your questions. Make sure that your answers are in complete sentences and always double check your answers at the end. If you would like to follow along with the rest of the video, I will read through the questions with you and read the text once from start to finish, if you'd like. If you are comfortable doing this on your own, feel free, you can stop the video now and you can complete your reading comprehension. Good luck and make sure you take your time. Otherwise, let's take a look at the text together. So the title is Feeling Angry and your questions are, question number one, people get angry for different reasons. What are two examples of reasons in the text? Question number two, why might your body feel different when you get angry? Question number three, why is it a bad idea to hit or yell when you feel angry? Question number four, when you get angry, why is it important to try to calm down right away? And the last question, question number five, the text says you should not yell at someone when you explain why the person made you angry. Do you agree and tell why or why not? All right, so now I'm gonna read through the text, so make sure you follow along. And then afterwards, you should feel comfortable enough to answer the questions. Feeling angry. Everybody gets angry sometimes. What makes you angry? You might get angry when your parents will not let you do something. Or maybe you get angry when kids at school tease you. People get, can get angry for many different reasons. Anger can fill your body with energy. You might feel like using that energy to hit someone, yell at someone, or break something. Doing these things can get you into trouble, and that will not help at all. What should you do when you get angry? When you get angry, try to calm down right away. Some people count to 10 or take a few deep breaths. If you can calm down, it is easier to stop yourself from doing something that could get you into trouble. When someone makes you angry, tell the person how you were feeling and why. For example, you might say, I am angry because you are teasing me and it hurts my feelings. Remember not to yell. <laughs> Doing something active can help you feel less angry. You could run around your backyard or the playground. Some people go for a bike ride or do jumping jacks. Being active helps to get rid of the energy you feel when you are angry. Talking about your feelings helps too. Tell a parent or a friend about what happened and how you were feeling. You can ask for a hug to help you feel better. Doing something fun can help get rid of anger. You might play your favorite song or sing along. Some people play video games or watch a funny movie. Find out what works best for you.